The development of this new smoke alarm has been very greatly influenced by our work with the Fire and Rescue Services. Particularly over the last three years, we've sold millions of smoke alarms to the Fire and Rescue Services. And by our contact with them, we've learned an awful lot of the things which are very good about the current products we're selling, but also the areas which maybe aren't so strong. So when we sat down with a clean sheet of paper to design the ST620, the new smoke alarm, we could factor in a lot of the feedback which we had. And interestingly, we can sit in our ivory towers and really work on the hard technology side of the products. Yet, sometimes it's the more basic design features of the product which we realise, you know, we never realised we had an issue with them. And all of a sudden you speak to the customers, something as simple as exactly how the alarm fits on the backing plate, by making that easy to do and more simple is a really tangible improvement in the product. Yet we'd have never come up with that on our own. At Fire Angel, we pride ourselves on innovation in technology. Um, our new ideas and concepts come from constant monitoring and understanding the markets, particularly the fire and rescue services with Thermoptic. What we've decided to do is make an investment of the technology, but equally to keep the pricing the same on the fire by framework, thus allowing the fire authorities to continue the good work they're already doing with the home fire safety checks without being compromised on increased price. So originally we set out to try and get rid of any issues around storage of ionisation, along with trying to improve an optical's performance in fast flaming fires. Only when we really started working on the project and started to do fire tests did we understand that by having this second criteria of measurement, by having an optical chamber, but also by having effectively a rate of rise temperature sensing in the same product, we could make a better all-round product. I hope thermoptic technology will really change the industry because a lot of people don't understand the difference between an ionisation and an optical smoke alarm. The average consumer going into Tesco or B&Q really doesn't understand the difference and therefore what we're trying to do is provide a better and safer technology for everybody at an affordable price. So I hope that it will make a huge difference. In terms of our key customers like the fire and rescue services, to allow them to have the choice, take away the issues to do with storage of ionisation and also the choice between iron and optical again, Thermoptic will allow them to have the best technology and most appropriate technology for home fire safety checks. Everybody in the industry recommends using both technologies, ionisation and optical, wherever possible because they obviously have different strengths in different types of fires. So that was really the jumping off point. It was only when we really got into the development of the product and started to do test fires with a new thermoptic prototypes that we realised that the true strength of having effectively a, an optical sensor and a rate of rise temperature sensor, by putting these two different sensing criteria together and having a chip which is looking at what they're both doing, it allows us to tune the performance of the alarm. So on one side, it's going to go off in the middle of all the fires. You're not making an overly sensitive ionisation alarm to get through the slow smouldering fires or an overly sensitive optical alarm to get through the fast flaming fires. So we can build an alarm which is going to go off pretty much right in the middle of all the different test fires, while at the same time in no single type of fire is overly sensitive. So all round it's a much more stable, better performance, much more robust product. At Fire Angel we're very proud of the team. We're a UK based team based out of Coventry in the West Midlands. It allows us to be dynamic and responsive to our customer needs here in the United Kingdom and make our products available for Europe in a very, very fast and efficient manner. The ST620 has a number of green credentials. Firstly, we've done the obvious things like we've reduced the packaging size down to an absolute minimum and we've actually made the alarm considerably lighter than the SO610 which it's replacing. So we're using less raw materials. So they're the obvious things. Also, because it's a seal for life product, there are no replacement batteries and you think over the 10 year life of an alarm, you know, if you're replacing a battery every year, there's 10 batteries. But in addition to that, by developing the thermoptic technology, what Fire Angel has done is done away with the need for ionisation alarms with all the potential issues of recycling of ionisation alarms at the end of the line. I think our growth shows that we've been successful to date and the future we hope to be equally as responsive and bring new products and technology to the market at an affordable price and help people, particularly in the fire and rescue services, bring more diverse applications to actually providing home fire safety checks.
Research and development is something which is very important to us at Fire Angel and I'm personally very, very proud that I feel over the last 10 years we've really led our industry with respect to investment in research and development and also innovation. On behalf of Fire Angel, I'd like to thank everybody for your continued support, both customers and employees alike, and I look forward to working with you in the future.